Hello everyone. Today let's talk about something you might not think about every day. But that has a huge impact on where the world is heading. What people study in schools, colleges and universities. Education isn't just about individual careers. It's a mirror of national priorities. Whether a country focuses on engineers, philosophers, business leaders or doctors or lawyers says a lot about where it is headed. What students study today, that's what will shape our economies, technologies and societies tomorrow. Think about it, whether a country produces more engineers, more artists or more doctors. It shapes not just the economy, but the, but the culture, innovation and even global power dynamics. So today in my lecture, we are diving into the academic trends shaping the future. Let's get into it. Let's start with STEM. Yes, STEM. Science, Tech, Engineering and Math. China is the clear front runner, producing over 3.5 million STEM grads a year. That's more than 40% of all its university degrees. No wonder they are leading in AI, biotech and clean energy. Right behind is India with around 2.5 million STEM grads yearly. India's IT industry is massive and these graduates are the engine behind it. The US produces about 820,000 STEM graduates annually, about 20% of all degrees. But here is the twist. Many of its tech minds are international students. Germany and Iran also stand out. STEM makes up 36% and 26% of their grads respectively. By 2030, India is projected to surpass China in STEM grads, which could really shake up the global tech workforce. While STEM dominates the, the headlines, some countries still prioritize the arts and humanities. Italy, for instance, leads in Europe with one in five grads earning degrees in literature, philosophy and the arts. Makes sense. They gave us renaissance after all. Yes. Sweden and Estonia also rank high with 17% and 16% of graduates in cultural fields. But overall, humanities degrees are on a slow decline across Europe as STEM rises. Here is a telling statistics. At Oxford, English literature applications hit a record low in 2020, while computer science apps have doubled in the past decade. When it comes to producing the next generation business leaders, the US dominates, awarding over 350,000 business degrees a year. That's nearly one in every five college grads. The UK follows with 120,000 business grads, thanks to uh, London's global financial pull, I would say. Canada is rising fast in business and trade related degrees, aligning with its expanding role in global markets. You can't underestimate Canada. And the fun fact is that Harvard Business School alone has produced more billionaires than some countries have in total. Interesting stat. Now let's look at medicine. Russia produces a jaw-dropping 600,000 600,000 medical grads a year, more than any other country. Many of them go abroad, obviously, due to oversupply. 
India trains around 1 million healthcare professionals annually from doctors to nurses, many of whom migrate to fill shortages overseas. China is heavily investing in medical education too. By 2050, one in four people there in China will be over 65 years of age. So healthcare is a top priority for them. Not everyone is chasing university degrees. Another important information I want to share with you. In countries like Germany, vocational training is king. Over 50% of students there in Germany choose apprenticeships or tech training instead of regular college going degrees. Switzerland goes even further. Nearly 70% of students there opt for vocational routes, learning skills in everything from finance to precision manufacturing. China is also investing heavily in this space, aiming to train 10 million skilled workers a year to support its industrial economy. And another piece of statistics I want to share with you is that some of Germany's top CEOs at places like BMW and Simmons came not from universities, but vocational programs. Yes. Some of the hottest degrees today didn't even exist a decade ago. Many of you would agree with me. In the US, degrees in AI and data science have grown by 300% in just five years. China is building entire AI-focused universities and India too is rapidly training specialists in AI and cybersecurity through university and corporate partnerships. By 2027, AI and data-related jobs are expected to make up 20% of all new job openings worldwide. Now, here are some curveballs which you must know. In the US, neuroscience has literally exploded. Back in 1980, only 64 people earned a bachelor's in it. But until two years back, over 12,000 did that. Australia is leading in environmental science and no surprises given its climate uh, challenges. In Netherlands, psychology and neuroscience are on the rise, pointing to a deeper focus on mental health and human behavior. And get this, South Korea, Yes, South Korea produces some of the highest numbers of esports and game design grads. The industry there is so massive uh, in terms of offering full degrees in esports management that it is unbelievable. My deep acknowledgement at the end of this lecture goes to the World Population Review for their research, which I used in this lecture. And to the listeners, thanks for hearing this talk. And it's time for you to tell me now that whether you want to join STEM, arts, business, or AI. Please share with me, inbox me, or share as a comment or remark. Thank you. See you again.